Look, if you're an executive at Peloton, I would recommend watching a little bit more Marketing Monday with Big A than whatever the hell you're doing because they might be the dumbest or unluckiest marketing executives known to man. Let me tell you about this. So Sex in the City has a reboot. It's called And Just Like That. It's a bunch of old boomers now, I think, who are having sex still, I think, is the premise. Spoiler alert for Sex in the City reboot. If some the f how you are not only a Sex in the City viewer, but watch the reboot and then also watch Ludwig, if that crossbreed exists, that Venn diagram, spoiler alert, in the first episode, main character, Sarah Jessica Parker, I think everyone knows that actress, her partner dies. His name's Mr. Big, which crazy, that's a real name they gave him, was he was riding a Peloton and, and then he keeled over and died on a Peloton. And it, I actually have the scene pulled up, we can watch it together, cause it's, it's crazy, he, he just dies. I'm here. So this is a scene of him dying. And, and you know, classic heart attack sign. I thought it was the right arm. I don't know, I never had one. That's Mr. Big, played by actor Chris Noth, which will be important later, so remember that name, Chris Noth. John! Took her a while. Oh, it took God. her a little too long, oh, I would argue. John. Is this budget rain? Just turn the shower off. Was that CPR? Call someone. 911. He's definitely resuscitable. You can resuscitate him. What do you what do you mean, oh god? Call! What are you doing? Stop kissing him! And just like that, they died. I dude, I hope <laughs> they use the they use the name dropped it. Like a guy died and then they said the name of the show and just like that, he died. I hope when I die, they'll go, the plan was simple, he croaked. Anyway, that was him dying. That was the actor Chris Noth, Mr. Big, dying in the show on the first episode. This came out December 9th, I believe. And he died uh, episode one, which was a big deal because he was like a main character. And if you didn't get it, he died having a heart attack after cycling on a Peloton. And I'm pretty sure Peloton has an ad deal with this reboot as like a built-in sort of in the world, people will use Peloton. Somehow it got through the writer's room, it got through the producers at Sex and the City reboot, and it also got through marketing executives at Peloton that, they, that he would cycle on a Peloton and then die. And so right after that came out, Peloton stock tank. If you look at it over the past month, this was December 9th that it came up. So the 8th, it was $46. And then it tanked down $6 all the way to December 10th. It take down a total of about seven, $8. Like in the span of like a day. This is a $13 billion company and they lost over 10, 15, maybe even 20% of their value overnight because they killed a character in a show. That's billions of dollars. And so they acted very fast, in incredibly fast, almost five head in a way. Rather than let this just sit and fester with dead man after using a, a my bicycle. Hey, buy my bicycle. By the way, you might fucking die in it. Great job, Peloton. Well, five heads, these executives, they're not to be outdone, okay? They're not gonna let any big A outdo them. So they decided to drop a commercial and they actually turned it around fast. This commercial dropped the next day. So the show releases the next day, they came out with this commercial featuring the actor Chris Noth. I'm gonna play it right now. And it's titled, Mr. Big is Alive! Exclamation point. So this is Chris Noth, the actor. To new beginnings. And that's the Peloton instructor. Should we take another ride? Life's too short not to. <laughs> and just like that, the world was reminded that regular cycling stimulates and improves your heart, lungs, and circulation, reducing your risk of cardiovascular diseases. Cycling strengthens your heart muscles, lowers resting pulse, and reduces blood fat levels. He's alive. That's Ryan Reynolds, letting us know that one, 
He's alive. Thank you, Ryan, for reviving a fictional character to help stock prices increase and so that investors don't lose money. Appreciate that. And two, letting us know that biking actually helps cardiovascular health and doesn't give you a heart attack. And then that was the three, Chris Knott, the 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 actor, reprised his role. They just, they, they backtracked it. That's how powerful a corporation is. They wrote the character died from a heart attack and they're like, nah, I didn't fucking die. He didn't die. Not only did he not die, he is now maybe f fucking the Peloton instructor. And then after they have sex, they go back and they bike together next to each other, which is cool, I guess. I don't know. And and so that that's the commercial they dropped. That's the commercial they dropped. And maybe you're thinking, okay, boom, story over, right? You know, drop that commercial, everything's fixed. Bing, bang, boom. What a, what a little marketing ad spend won't do. Except the day after that, three women came forward with sexual assault allegations against Chris Danoth. And, and I'm not laughing because that's funny, because that's fucking horrible. It's it's just like, get fucked, Peloton. <laughs> Man, fuck your dollars. Fuck your investors, okay? There's now five total women who have come forward with stories of sexual allegation and straight up rape from Chris from, from Chris Noth, who ironically played the role of a rapist um, five years ago in a 2016 movie, you know? And, and on hindsight, this is funny because this is his quote. He said, my kid's gonna watch this movie someday. You know, it, like, he might also hear about how you raped people. That, I think that would be more concerning. And he said he was able to go to a pretty ugly place while playing this role. Like, and then this is the best line. He said, there are tons of predators out there and the instinct to be a predator is firmly entrenched in the male psyche. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna refute that. I'm gonna say the instinct to be a predator is firmly entrenched in a predator. Like, I think that's where you got it from, lest your male psyche but I can, I can appreciate that you thought differently. So anyway, that's, that's, that's where they're at now. It, instead of just watching a single Marketing Monday video from Atrioc, they decided to spend millions of dollars for marketing budget for a washed up TV show that only boomers care about, and then had the person fucking die on their device, then made a commercial with the guy, and then he turns out to be an alleged rapist. So, you know, there are no bigger losers this holiday season than Peloton. Perhaps, perhaps the victims. Hearts out to the victims, because you know they. I mean, they, they, their lives got fucked up. But eat shit, Chris Noth, and eat shit, Peloton, and happy holidays, everyone watching. Okay, you know this is a completely ad-free. This is a com this is a completely ad-free video, and hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a subscribe. We'll be back at the normal setup soon. I hope. Nick got COVID. I don't know. So he, we hung out with him a few days ago to record the podcast, The Yard. Secretly had COVID during that. I tested rapid, it was negative. We'll see, I might be stuck here forever. So streams are on hiatus, but I figured I'd do some more videos. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day, goodbye.